Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Christine and today we are going to be doing one of my favorite pastimes. I learned this when I was a child. I am going to teach you how to simple crochet and I've done it for years. I take actual 100% cotton or pretty close to and I make my own dishcloths and they're a fun thing to do. They're a great gift with the holidays coming up. So I've got some made. I've got all different colors here. So I like to start on these projects plenty in advance. So we're not even quite to the end of summer yet. It does take a little bit of time, but I just thought I'd show you and see if you'd like to tag along with me as I do my fun projects. So come on with. Okay friends, so I have my samples out here and this one is basically done so I'm going to show you how to close it up at the end. Actually let me grab my scissors. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you're going to need is basically 100% cotton. This one is 100% cotton. I am trying a new brand that I found at Michael's which is recycled so it's 85% recycled cotton and 15 polyester. I'm going to see how it washes up which is this one. I grabbed a few but I mean it was $1.99 so and I can literally make like one and a half ish with one of these with the 131 yards. So normally they do come roughly 96 yards and I think that's this one's 95 yards. So you'll make one full washcloth out of this, or dishcloth, I should say. And the reason why I like this is because that cotton, it just washes up so nice. You don't get that weird smell after a while. And, you know, after like two or three years, then just make some new ones and then use those as rags. And I've got yellow here as well. So it's a fun new color. So I wanted to show you how to start making these. So you're going to take this off and just set that to the side and you're going to find the end which is usually hanging around somewhere. And I have, I kind of made my own hooks. So you can buy these at most stores and I took some of that polymer clay. This was a project I did years ago and that polymer clay that kids use to make little sculptures, you can put it on the end and so I literally fit it exactly to my own hand and then I just put a little stamp on there and then I marked what letter hook this is. So this is an H size. They're lettered A through Z basically and so this is H. That's what I find that I like how close together this is and it's just a single crochet. You can do double and what have you but I'm just going to show you the single crochet. I just like because it is simple and you don't, have, you don't get too elaborate with it and it comes out really nice and even and it does take practice. Like I said, I've been doing this for years, but I just wanted to show you. I've showed a couple of my friends and they just love it. So like I said, this one's basically done, but I wanted to show you how to start it. And just over the years, I just learned. So you take this in your left hand and you're just going to make a loop around your finger and grab it. And then you're going to twist it and then bring this through to make a kind of like a catch. So that's how I'm going to start. It's not too easy to do this and video at the same time, but you're going to make this first. You're going to make your simple chain and I usually do about 40 more or less. I kind of do as many as I think. And like some are smaller, some are bigger, but I usually do about 40 across. And so you take your yarn and wrap it around your index finger. And if this, I'm right handed obviously. And then this is a, like a slip knot, so you can slip it back and forth, keep it fairly loose. And then I'm using this finger as a guide. So, and holding it here. And I'm gonna wrap it around and I'm gonna bring it through that loop you just made. And that's a chain, okay? Don't keep it real tight, just keep it real loose, keep your hand relaxed. This you want to keep taut and just utilize your other fingers and I swear it'll become muscle memory. So I'm going to do that again, bring it up and around through, nice and easy. So now you've done two, three, four, 
five. And like I said, you just keep kind of catching it. You see how it's making the chain. And I'll do up to 10 here and then I'll move on. Six, seven, and catch that and just kind of adjust it with your finger and start over. Eight, nine, and 10. So, and you can, you know, I usually kind of hold, hold mine out to see if I've made it as long or as short as the next one. So I've done 10 in a chain right now. And then I will show you after I get done with 40 of these. Okay, so I have made 40 in my chain. So at the end of each row, you're going to do an additional two stitches. So you're just going to do two more chains. Make sure that you're holding it frontwards and you'll kind of see that little V forming. You see that? So, all right, so I'm at the end. I'm keeping this just kind of relaxed in my finger and I'm using my index finger and I'm holding it like this. So I've got control over it and keeping my hook. Like I said, I, this literally is made for my hand. So you can find the nice grippy ones. And I'm gonna do two more. So there's one and two. And now I'm going to find that first hole because we're gonna start on our second row. So the second row is the most difficult and you want to find the second stitch back here. All right, so you want it to look like this. So there's, so there's the, the one that you just got done with the two and you're bringing it over. Let me see if I can see this a little better. And there's two on here. Okay, so you're through the hole and you're gonna go through and grab, bring it through. So now you've got two on your hook and now you're just gonna crochet like normal and you're gonna bring that all the way through both of those. Okay, it's getting taut here. Let me grab a little extra. So we're gonna do the same thing. So now I'm looking for that next hole, which is here. And I'm taking my fingernail kind of, and I'm making sure that I have both on here. And I'm gonna bring this up and through. So I have the two. And then through both of them, nice and easy. So like I said, you kind of have control over that with your finger. Okay, we did two stitches now. We're gonna find the next one. And using your fingernail, there's the two. We're gonna bring it through. So you have two on there. And so this is basically a single crochet. Okay, so we're gonna move on. You know, look, find that. Okay, I've got the two on there. Bring that through. And now we're going to circle around and bring that through. And I swear it gets easier after doing this. Second row is always the most difficult. So I'm gonna finish this up. I'll do one more for you. So we're just sitting here and I'm looking for that next hole. And you kind of, you can kind of see it right here. So I'm gonna go in like this, my fingernail bring it through and then I'm going to go around and then through both of them. Okay. So I'm going to finish this and get through this second row and you can stop and replay this if you'd like. And then I'll show you what I do when I get to the end. Okay. I made it all the way to the end with our second row. And so now how do I know I'm at the end? That was the last stitch right there. So once you get to each end, you're just going to do a chain you're gonna, of two. So you're going to do what we originally started with. You're going to do one and two, and then you're going to flip it over and kind of start back in the beginning. 
Now is the fun part. Now it gets easier. So you're going to skip that first hole and you're going to go into the second. And it basically lines up. It's a designated hole and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to put your hook in, grab, a, grab it so there's two on, and then you're going to crochet around and through. See the hole? It's way easier now. Bring that through and then back through. And it really starts to look like something now. So through and through. And through the hole. Make sure you're through two, the two on the top, you'll see. Grab. Keep it nice and loose. Like I said, you got the looseness right here. And after doing it for so long, it kind of, like I said, becomes muscle memory. And I used to make those dishcloths with my mom. And then we would do the towels. So we'd cut a regular towel in half and then we would make the fun tops that, with a button so that you could hang it on your stove and such. And then I've made stars. I did little star ornaments last year, but you can always find stuff like that on, on YouTube. But if you know the basic fundamentals, like this is very basic. This is not anything fancy. You can get super fancy, but this takes long enough. I mean, so I usually do 40 across, and this one is a little bit bigger, but 40 across and then, I don't know, 20 to 25 high and they just turn out so nice. And then I wanted to show, show you my other little cheat. You know, these things roll around like crazy. So I just took an old, I think this is a yogurt container or something, and I put it in there so as it's rolling, it's just rolling in this. So that's my other little fun little cheat there. So look at what we're doing here. We are making a dishcloth. And like I said, it's just definitely, when you use more of the cotton product, it doesn't end up smelling after a while because all those soaps get trapped in it. It dries really nice because it obviously, you know, has the holes in it. You can see right through it basically. And I don't know, my husband really likes it. And I thought some of these new colors were very cute. So I'll see what I'm gonna keep. But obviously this one is for the holidays. I found this. And that brand is the Sugar and Cream. And sometimes they have the really big ones, the super size ones. And then they have a few directions and such, I think, on here and then inside. But I just end up, this is what I make. And I use some other scraps that I have to make, make those stars that I made last year, little ornaments. So I'll have to do a tutorial on that as well. So, all right, well, this is as far as I've gotten. And so let me finish this up, get to the other end, and I'll show you what I do on the other end. Okay, I just wanted to show you, as you get to the end, it does get a little bit trickier. So you can see that designated hole. So... We're just gonna do the normal crochet and go all the way through. So it kind of looks like you're done, but you're not. So you are going to go into there, make your way through. So you've got your two. And there, now you're finished. So at the end of each row, you just chain two, one, and two, and then you flip it over. So you don't go in that first one, you go into the second one. Okay. And now, like I said, it definitely gets easier as you get further along. You have a little more to hang on to. And using your other fingers, like this, 
this holding here and here. I'm holding it like this, this underneath, keeping it taut. And that's kind of an art all in itself, trying to figure out how to hold it. And you can have your finger help. You can move your hand up and down, whatever you prefer. And I'm going through both on the top. And there you go. All right, so I'm going to show you. This one, like I said, is basically finished. I left it attached so I can show you how to close up and get it to where you don't have to worry about, I think I did that one already. Oh no, it's here on this end. So that you don't have to worry about it um, coming frayed. So as you wash, wash this, so I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So just to reiterate, and here this comes really loose. You just pull that back, get your grip back again on this, and you just go. How long does this take me, you ask? <laughs> It just depends. I sit around and do it at night when we're watching TV or what have you. And, you know, sometimes it becomes a little bit sloppier, like some of the holes aren't perfect or anything. Like you can see that one. But otherwise, it's not too bad. So doing that extra double two chain at the end, it kind of makes a little bit of a scallop pattern, which I like. You can see that on all these. Like I said, it's not perfect, but you know, what homemade gifts are. Really like this material, I like this one, so I'm probably gonna end up keeping keeping this color because I kind of have this color in my kitchen. And then I made this one um, for, I've got a couple of different dish towels that this would match, and I've got quite a, quite a bit of yarn. So, all right, so let's scoot, I'm gonna scoot this off to the side. We're gonna pull the finished one over. So I have a pair of scissors. And so I have this much left. And I'm going to just pull it out, you know, kind of like at least double finger. Man, maybe let's say three finger wide. And I'm going to snip it. And then this one will pull through. So all you have left is this one. So, you notice that it has several different um, strings to it. So I actually split the strings in half. I think there's about four. So I split the strings in half and I kind of just unravel it, okay? And then I'm gonna take my crochet hook that I was just using, let me get that. And then you're going to basically reach in and pull the one side through. Actually, let me do it down below here. That might be easier to see. So you finished that. I'm not gonna pull that one out. Now let's do it up above. So I'm reaching in right next to where it finished. Okay, I'm reaching into the stitch next to it and I'm just gonna pull half through. Okay, oops. All right, so now I've got half and half and I'm just basically gonna tie a knot. Sorry, it's kinda hard to do on camera. All right, so I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna tie a nice tight knot. There's one. Because you wanna make sure that it's secure as you're watching, or washing it, not watching. All right, so you can kinda of see that that's a nice tight knot. I might go one more time. And then you're just gonna trim it. Make sure it's not sticking out. It's not too tall. 
Okay, so now I'm going to take it and trim it as close as I can and set those off to the side. Okay, and then kind of the same for where you started. So you've got that like slip knot. So this is a little bit long. So I'm going to take and split it in half like we did the other one. It's a little bit longer than the other one accidentally. But you've got a little more room to grab things in this one. So I'm going to reach in this one that is loose and just grab that half and pull it through so that we're going to make another knot right where it started. Make it nice and tight. Okay, that's one. And two. And I think that's good on this end. It's nice and tight. Scoot it down with your fingernail. Okay, it's not going anywhere. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to trim it as close as I can. Set that off to the side. And then just kind of move it around, move it around. And just to compare it to this one that I did, and this one that I did. I mean, by looking at it, you don't really notice that. And it's just to make sure that it doesn't fray. And you can trim it as close, like, you know, you can see a little bit extra on that. But voila! And then you can make them look cute. You can roll them up, put a little bow around them. And you have a fun homemade gift. All right. Well, let's get this video closed up. Okay, friends, I hope that tutorial uh, did you well. And if you have any questions about anything, just leave it in the comments below. But otherwise, I'm going to get busy on this washcloth so that it can look like this one. So I appreciate you stopping by my little channel. And if you like videos like this, hit that like and subscribe. And I will see you next time on Christine's Routines. Take care and God bless. I want to show you one of my favorite pastimes, uh, crocheting. Let me start that over. Hey friend, Ugh. I got a gurgle in my throat Ugh. that I have learned since I was a child. Since I have learned from a child. Learned it as a child, there we go.